Hi everybody, I'm Nicola Noponen, RSB Standards Director, and I'm here to give you a short introduction to RSB's Greenhouse Gas Calculator tool. So as you can see, the RSB Greenhouse Gas Calculator tool is based in Excel, and this means of course that you don't need a special software or platform to operate it. It's a very stra straightforward and familiar one. It can be used offline, and of course you can save as many copies as you like. So you can make changes as you go to see how changing one parameter affects the overall GHG value or performance of your system. So let's take a quick look at the tool. As you can see, you've got a home page with easy to navigate buttons across the front, and there's no lengthy instruction manual or web page to accompany it. Everything is actually integrated into the tool to make it as user friendly and intuitive as possible. We've got a short instruction page plus red notes throughout wherever you see this little red triangle and that will give you handy hints throughout the tool. And these navigation buttons will always remain along the top of the screen so that you can jump around the pages in any order. So the first pages that you'll find needing to have data inputted to are with regards to feedstock cultivation. So if, for example, you're a biomass producer, you would input data into these sheets. And you would put in data relating to all inputs to and outputs from your system. So things like crop yields, co-product yields, residue yields, fertilizer use, and so on. And you simply input the amounts of the product that you use. And in fact, the tool is already pre-populated with emission factors, mostly from EcoInvent. So you can see columns N, O, and P pre-populated emission factors. But you also have the opportunity to override these emission factors. Say you have a source that you feel is more relevant to your operation. And if that's the case, you simply input the emission factor that you want to use, and the cell automatically turns yellow to remind you that this is your own value. And you can use these notes areas in column I to keep tabs on the data that you've inputted. So you would add there the data source, which is useful for your own team, but also useful for your auditor if they want to refer back to them. Likewise, as you navigate through the different supply chain steps, perhaps you're a transport uh, haulage company or uh, involved in that part of the supply chain, perhaps you are involved in processing supply chain steps. Again, you input data relating to all inputs to and outputs from your system, and again, you can override emission factors as you go in the spreadsheet. Once you've added all of your data related to your supply chain step, you finally navigate to the two results sheets. We, we offer through the tool your results calculated to three different methodologies, RSB Global, EU Red and Coursera. And you'll see your RSB Global and EU Red results in this final spreadsheet where you have the option to pull through the data from your sheets and also manually enter emission data from your supplier. For example, if you're a processor and you, you've been given a GHG value from your upstream supplier of a feedstock, you can manually enter that. And all of the data will be pulled through the spreadsheets to finally give you a GHG value. And if you enter your baseline value, they'll give you your percentage emission saving value. Likewise for Coursera, you'll end up with the same results in a slightly different format because there are some methodological differences. So I hope that's given you a useful short taster to the RSB GHG calculator tool, and I look forward to you using it. Thank you.